In this tutorial, we'll create a cool kaleidoscope effect using only tops. The key top for this effect is the mirror top, which plays a crucial role in achieving the look. I've also used the displace top to refine the final result. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin by clearing our network. Delete the existing components for a clean start. We'll begin by adding a movie file in top, which will be the foundation of our visual. Next, we'll insert a fit top directly after this movie file in. This fit top will allow us to control the aspect ratio and resolution. Let's configure it by setting the fit method parameter to fit outside. Specify a resolution of 1280 by 1280. Now let's add a null top at the end of our chain. Following this, insert an info chop. This info chop will be used to extract resolution data. In the info chops parameters, navigate to the scope drop-down menu and select both res X and res Y. For the moment, we'll bypass this fit top to see the original movie resolution, but it will be important later. Let's now introduce a ramp top into our network. Change its type parameter from the default to circular. To animate the phase and create a continuous looping motion, we'll use an expression. In the phase parameter field, type abstime.seconds. This expression will drive the phase based on the system time, creating our animation. To control the period of this ramp animation, we'll bring in an LFO chop. In this LFO chop, adjust the type parameter to Gaussian. Set the frequency to 0.1 to define the oscillation rate. To shift the LFO's range, apply an offset of 0.2. Now, we need to connect this LFO to the ramp top. Reference this LFO chop to the period of the ramp top. Additionally, to dynamically set the ramp top's resolution, we'll use the resolution values we extracted earlier. Reference the res X and res Y channels from the info chop to the resolution parameters of the ramp top. To enable toggling between different ramp types, let's add a button comp to our network. Set its type to momentary. After the button comp, insert a count chop. We'll limit the count to cycle between ramp types. In the count chops parameters, under the limit tab, choose loop min max for the limit method. Set the minimum value to two and the maximum value to three. Ensure to reset the count chop by clicking on the pulse button. Now we'll link the count chop to the ramp top. Reference the channel one of the count chop to the type parameter of the ramp top. This setup will allow us to switch between circular and radial ramp types each time we press the button. Next, insert a displaced top after the null top at the end of our movie chain. Use the ramp top as the second input for this displaced top. Reduce the displacement intensity by lowering the displace weight to 0.1. Set the extend method in the displace top to mirror. To optimize performance, you can disable the display flag for the operators we've created so far. Now, to create the kaleidoscope effect, let's incorporate five mirror tops. For the first mirror top, set its rotation parameter to 45 degrees. We'll apply a similar configuration to the remaining mirror tops, incrementally increasing the rotation value by 45 degrees for each subsequent mirror. Therefore, the second mirror top's rotation will be 90 degrees and so on. Let's quickly configure the rest of the mirrors. I'll speed up this process. To enhance the colors dynamically, let's introduce an HSV adjust top. To modulate the colors over time, we'll use another LFO chop. Press and hold the shift key to conveniently insert a math chop directly after this new LFO chop. In the LFO chop, set its type to Gaussian and its frequency to 0.1. In the math chop, set the to range setting from minus 180 up to 180 degrees. Now, Reference the output of this math chop to the hue offset parameter of the HSV adjust top. 
adjust the saturation multiplier in the HSV adjust top to your preferred level. To further enhance the visual richness, let's add a level top. In the level top parameters, increase the brightness to approximately 1.42 and the contrast to around 1.1. For a final touch, we'll add another displace top to refine the look. This time, use the level top as both the first and second inputs of this displace top. Lower the displace weight to 0.1. Also change the source midpoint to 0 for both the X and Y. Let's conclude our top network by adding a null top at the very end. Finally, ensure that the extend type for this final displace top is set to mirror. And that completes the setup. This is how you can construct a captivating kaleidoscope visual using this relatively simple top network in Touch Designer. I hope you found this tutorial enjoyable and informative. You can download this project file and support my work on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.